तुम 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 हेलो हेलो टीचर व्हाट यू आर यू आई एम ओके गुड हाउ आर यू एम वेरी वेल ऑल राइट गुड एवरीबॉडी नो आई मी आई नीड टू टॉक टू यू आर यू ओके आई आई कैन हियर टीचर Are you okay? Okay. All right, good. Hello. Uh, good there's evening, Miriam. Everybody. Miriam, how are you? Do you have COVID? No. Did you take the test? No. <laughs> oh man. But I nah, but I feel excellent now. Ah. Uh, uh, yes. Did you call? Did you call? What was the number, Lisette? Uh, one three two. One three two. Did you? I drank tea and acetaminophen. Acetaminophen. <laughs> uh, but I feel good. All right, Excellent. that's important thing. Good, good uh, yes. for you then. <laughs> well, you you sound better than good yesterday. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. How are you, Lisa? How is the COVID going? <laughs> um, a little sick. You're still a little sick? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm a, and a little tired. For Do you sleep today, uh, uh, no. <laughs> today, go to a uh, gymnastic. You went to the gym? Yes. Wait, wait a minute. You have COVID and you went to the gym? <laughs> I need you. <laughs> no, man, don't do that. <laughs> love yourself and love people. <laughs> yeah, love the, the, the other people, people around you. Maybe that's why everybody is getting contagious now. No, but Lisa, you can't go to the gym. You have COVID. No, no, I no tengo COVID. You don't have COVID? No, 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 no. Yesterday you had COVID. Uh, yesterday, I think, uh, I thinking, oh, I think. I, I thought. I thought uh, the COVID. You thought you had COVID. I see, have the COVID. <laughs> but, but let me guess, you drank tea, like, <clears throat> like Miriam. No, I, I take the, the test. beetle grip. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, wow, then you're okay then. <laughs> 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 oh my god okay well i hope you guys are okay then all right class let me see where are we dun, 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 dun. is it Yes, sir. I, uh, I guess that uh, in now, uh, when the people have a, a good uh, say, oh my God, I have COVID, right? But uh, I don't know, it's a simple quote. Yeah, maybe. What, what I think, what I think that um, this is going to affect the economy of El Salvador. Yeah. Because, um, hold on, day five. Because, okay, for example, in yes or no class, you know many people right now that are sick and they take the 15 days. Yes, yeah, so everybody, todo está in, in, in. So in, in the future, it will affect the economy of, of Quizás por eso todo está más caro. <laughs> yeah, after the quarantine, all things uh, yeah. have expensive. Has gone up. Expensive. Everything is very yeah. expensive. 
But Guzman, he doesn't care because he has money. For, <laughs> him, for him, $5, $20, it's like, how much are the pupusas? $5, deme dos. How much are the pupusas? $20, deme dos. No problem. Or Do you know what that. happened? What happened with the pupusa? Hey, Guzman, I'm, I'm sorry, I have a question. What happened with the, is this, okay, is it politics or is this crisis in this moment with the Bitcoin? Um, I don't know. I think that, it, um, that has different things um, around the world that depends if the Bitcoin is gonna, going to up or down. But eventually but, it will go up again, yes? Yeah, yeah. It's the best price, as I said, uh, the last class that you can buy, that you can invest the money. Yes, uh, I told my father to do that. Yeah. That's but my father, my father price. listens to La Prensa Grafica too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so no, La Prensa dice, oh my God, man. La prensa. <laughs> yeah, you saw the news about uh, Fondo Mundial International, I think. Yes. And they said uh, recommend to El Salvador avoid delay Bitcoin. To buy. It's going to decrease or, yeah, to delete, delay, delay Bitcoin. To. Uh to stop the Bitcoin. Yeah, they, 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 they are, that's the proper name, right? F, FMI? Yes, I think it's FMI, yeah. Mm -hmm. They recommend uh, to El Salvador, delete the Bitcoin as a legal currency. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that, I that's think the new <laughs> from the, uh, that's paper that that's new paper that you said. Yeah, but you know, I don't believe in in international international organizations anymore. L look at look at it. No, in international organizations, I think they are controlled by the United States. Yeah, that's right. Look at it. I'll give you a perfect example. Interpol. El Salvador said, look, this is Norman Quijano. Here are the videos. He negotiated with Pandillas. Everything, everything. Can you please catch him? No. Es persecución política. Really, man? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Okay, right. maybe, maybe, yes, maybe it is persecution politica. Okay, good. But the evidence is true. But the evidence yeah, is that's true. true. <laughs> so, okay, you know, so, so after that, or, or like, look at what that, the ex ambassador of the United States did. That she told the president, hey, look, don't touch Cristiani or, or the diputados or the fiscal. I don't know. So I, I don't believe in international organizations. <laughs> That's the money. They are being controlled by the big, big dogs. Maybe. Yeah, that's true. Maybe. Uh, all right. Uh, so do you remember what we did yesterday? We did modals. Remember we did can, could. What is can? Two things. Number one. Possible. Permission. Permission. And ability. Permission. Permission and ability. Ability. Right. What is an ability? Something you can or something you can't do. Yes. Yes. Is is mathematics? Mathematics is that an ability? Yes. No. 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 Swim, is that an ability? Yes. Yeah. Yes, because it's an action, because it's a verb. 
right? So remember, and also what is the difference between speak and talk? Speak is ability. His ability and, and talk is uh, an action. Yeah, speak is the ability. And why is speak ability? Because you speak, it's an ability to speak. It's, it's an ability to, to speak another language. It's an ability to speak in front of people. In algunas iglesias, some people speak different languages. Yeah, he speaks in different languages. Una vez fui a eso y la persona de por mí la agarró así, me salí, me asustó esa cosa. Like, what the hell? Whoa. Yes. <laughs> Yes, he just fell. Imagine your face. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, man, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm out of here. I am out. <laughs> es que le andaba cayendo una muchacha, entonces ella me invitó a la iglesia, right? Entonces, you know, it's the sacrifice of a man. Sí, claro, vamos. Yeah. And then, oh, no, 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 man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bye bye. <laughs> Yeah, because that person next to me is started speaking in different languages. And the eyes, they started rolling like, really? For Whoa. one more one more second, I would punch that person. Oh, yes, se me acerca, I'm, I'm going to punch him. But no, it didn't happen. It was ugly. It was an ugly experience. And the girl, right. my, my girlfriend in that moment, she said, what happened? That was, that was, like I said, that was ugly. No, that's beautiful. What's beautiful about that? That man was, <laughs> it was ugly. So that man started speaking in different languages. All right, so today we're going to learn. The, the happening, the languages that, that we didn't know, right? We didn't know where. Be talking about. <laughs> yeah, but you know, now I think it's marketing. I think they are connected. Like, hey, hoy Boba a caer, Boba a hablar, and you, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Listen, okay, today we're going to learn about wood. Wood and wooden. Wood and wooden. And may and might. May and might. Say yesterday. Have, have and must. Okay. Bueno, ahorita saben que deshagámonos de may. May is this. May is only permission. Mm -hmm. And may is very, very formal. And really is the correct way. Teacher, may I go to the bathroom? Porque imagínese una vez dicen, teacher, can I go to the bathroom? Viene el teacher, I don't know, can you? O sea, can I go to the bathroom? I don't know. Yo no I don't si know puede. if you can. I don't know if you can. Uh -huh. But you know, <laughs> pero por eso es que realmente can is an ability. But people use, o sea, popular English is for permission. But actually the correct, correct way for to ask permission is may. How do you say teacher uh, may in Spanish? It's permission. Yeah. Puede, puede ser podría o puedo. Mm. But remember, okay. it's only permission. Porque si, le, si en español I yo can't... puedo manejar, no puede decir I may drive. O sea, may es pedir permiso only. One example. May I go to the bathroom? Mm -hmm. I can drive the car today. Yeah, imagine, imagine, um, Yancy, imagine I, I go to your house and it's, hi, Yancy, may I come in? Um, ¿Qué le pregunté? Uh, I don't know, teacher. 
Okay, look, look at me. Imagine I am in your house and I knock. Gang, hi, Yancy, it's me, David. May I come in? Puedo. Come. Puedo. Uh huh. Puedo entrar. Yes. May I come in? And, and your answer is yes or no? Yancy, yes or no? Puedo or no? Um, yes. Yes, you may. Yes, you may. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No, you're welcome. And if it's negative, no, you may not. Teacher, I have a question for that. Uh, for that word, may exist the negative contraction? No, there's no negative. There's no contraction. Good question. No, I mayn't. It's may not. It's the negative. All right. Got it. No les cae mal que a veces están comiendo algo, un churro or ruthless, y llega alguien, hey, may I? <laughs> say, no. No, you may not. <laughs> it's mine. Like my daughter. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. So, <laughs> may is only permission. Do you understand, class? Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. It's clear. Okay, next, let's do uh, wood. Les voy a dar un ejemplo en español. Ana Lisette, ¿me puede terminar usted la oración? Yo iría al concierto de Bad Bunny. ¿Termina la acción? La, la oración. Uh, cold. No, 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 en español, termínamela. Yo iría al concierto de Bad Bunny. Um, ¿Alguien me puede ayudar a terminar la oración? Yo iría al concierto de Bad Bunny. Pero no me gusta. Mi mamá. No, es que, es que, no, wait, 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 wait. No estoy hablando de la música que me gusta, no, oigan esto. Yo iría al concierto de Bad Bunny. No, okay, si tuviera porque, dinero. Ok, ¿qué dijo? Si tuviera dinero. Si tuviera dinero. Ok, good. otra. Yo iría al concierto de Bad Bunny si me pagan. Si me dieran permiso. Si, si, si me dieran permiso. Si tuviera carro. I'm sorry, excuse me. Va hey, Google, turn off. Si okay. tuviera entradas. Si tuviera entrada, ok. Yo iría al concierto de Bad Bunny si me pagan mil dólares. Y quizás aún así lo pensara. Ok, pero oyeron que yo dije sí. Es a condition. Yes, así es en inglés. I would go to the Bad Bunny concert if, ahí está el if. If. If, if uh, you pay me. Porque si no, no fuera. So, would is a condition. ¿Saben qué es would? Para hacerla más fácil en español, ¿qué es would? Es ia. Es el verbo que lo hace terminar ia en español. Entonces, si yo digo, I would go, ¿qué dije? Iría. Iría. Uh -huh. I yo would iría. buy. Compraría. Exacto. Eso hace would. Por ejemplo, uh, would you like a cup of coffee? Very good. No sería mucha molestia. Okay, excuse me, mamá, please. <laughs> All right, remember. Would you, me? would you like to drink a a cup a cup of tea? Uh, no, maybe I would like a cup of coffee. Okay. <laughs> ¿Qué, ¿Qué ofrecía niña Florinda? Café o té? Café. 
coffee. Coffee. Yeah, coffee. Yeah, coffee. Yeah, coffee. Very good. Le gustaría una taza de café? Eso es IA, no, right? So, listen to the. Okay, ahorita, pero entendemos que es wood, right? En español, que es wood? Yes. So, it's a condition. Like, um, Jose Isaías. Hi. Hi, hello. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. What would you say? ¿Qué dije? What would you say? ¿Qué dije? ¿Qué le diría? Uh -huh. If she calls you, José. Jose, I'm pregnant. Sorry, wrong number. <laughs> I would say, I would say. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but you have to say, I would say. I will say. Sorry, wrong number. Sorry, wrong number. <laughs> Very good. You see, esa es, un, es algo que harías porque realmente no sabemos si pasarías. It's just a hypothetical situation. Yes. Lisette. Uh, Lisette Flores. Yes, teacher. Hi. Do you have a boyfriend, Lisette? No, no, teacher. ¿Voy a boyfriend? Ah, oh, man, le iba a preguntar, ¿qué diría si le pide matrimonio hoy? I would say mm. yes, I would say no. Okay. So let me see, let me see, let me see. You don't have a boyfriend, no, right? No, no. You are 27, correct? 26. 26. Let me see. Cesar Adonai, how old are you? Um, 21. 21. Oh, man. Harrison? Um, 24, teacher. Okay, vamos. Do, do you have a girlfriend? Uh, no, teacher. All right. Okay, Lisa Flores. <laughs> <laughs> what would you... <laughs> what class? I mean, these are examples, okay? What would you say if Harrison invites you to dinner someday. Um, I accept. I would. The, um, I will accept the invitation. Okay, good. Bye, Harrison. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest, the rest is you, my friend. <laughs> The rest is you, my friend. The rest is you. <laughs> I did my part. I did my part. You're welcome. The rest is you. Okay. No, but um, no, thank you. Thank you. Gracias por participate. But um, yeah, so that's the situation. Hey, what would you say if Harrison invites you? And she, very good answer. I would accept if he, he invites me. Uh, Lisette, where do you live? Santa Tecla, right? I live in Santo Tomas. And Herson? I live in Soyapan. I have a motorcycle, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Guzman has helicopters, motorcycles, everything. <laughs> hey, I have a I can give you a ride. All right, cool. All right, yeah, Ana Francisca. A um, it's no problem, teacher. I have a car. All right. Harrison, you need to be chatting in private right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Ana Francisca, hi. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Imagine, imagine you go to a pupuseria and the pupusas are but like a normal pupuseria, a champa, you know? Yeah. Oh, and they're good, they're good. But the pupusas are 150 each. 
would you pay 150 for those pupusas? And um, yes, si son buenas. <laughs> si son buenas, if they are good. If, if, if they, are they are good. If they are good. Are right, good. Yeah. I don't know if I would pay 150 for a pupusa. Yes. I, I would pay 150 for a pupusa Correct. if that pupusa is like gourmet or I go. <laughs> yes. Or if it's like a super pizza pupusa. pupusa loca. <laughs> yes. But a normal pupusa for 150? No. I no. would I would go to another pupusa joint. Yes. Yeah. Annalisa said hi. Hi. Annalisa said you have a boyfriend, correct? No. You don't have a boyfriend either, man. How old are you? 30. Oh, yes, I remember you're 30. What would you say or what would you do if your ex-boyfriend calls you? Would you imagine, um, where's my phone? X, 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 me, X. What would you do? Would you answer the phone? Or would you Next. She is uh, blocked in this moment. <laughs> He's blocked. Yes. No sobreestima los hombres, man. No. We <laughs> encontramos el número como sea. We uh, get right. it. Yes, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We will. We'll, I we, believe you. We will yes. call you anyway from a different number. The cheap cost is around $1.99. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, what would you do if your boyfriend comes to your door, your ex-boyfriend comes to your house? Um, I would the, the, um, I would. Close, I would close the door. Okay, good. In, in your face. In his wow. face, okay. Okay, aquí, aquí pasa algo importante porque si él está tocando la puerta, no, le, no se la puede cerrar. Entonces aquí usamos un negativo. En vez de decir, I would, ajá, en vez de decir, I would close the door, diría, I wouldn't open the door. I wouldn't open the door. Ajá, I wouldn't open the door. ¿Y sabe cómo lo mata? Estoy con alguien, vete. Oh, man. Se va. Andate, estoy con mi novio. What? You have a Gracias boyfriend? por el consejo. Yeah. Yes. Capaz <laughs> tumba la you... puerta de los cerros. Teacher. <laughs> yes. If, if you give, give them uh, uh, these examples, uh, you it had a, you had a extremely ex experience. Oh yes, I I have had every experience imaginable. <laughs> oh yes, por eso le digo la, lo que funciona, ¿no? <laughs> yes. No, I remember one time my ex girlfriend, my ex girlfriend, I looked for her. Hey, leave me alone, leave me alone. And to one day she said, "Leave me alone. I am with my boyfriend." Okay, boom, that's it. Really, that's that's the dosis I needed for me to stop. A los años me di cuenta que era mentira, pero. <laughs> but it was a, it was a good 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 strategy. Yeah, because if she has another boyfriend, then I don't I don't want to continue with her. She doesn't love me. No. <laughs> Cesar Adonai. Yeah. If you have one opportunity to meet somebody from the past, who would you like to meet? Interesting. Um, I I would I would uh, see you right. 
I would like to meet. I would like to meet. Um, I don't know. Uh, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, good. I would like to meet um, Salvador Dali. Oh man, that would. Interesting. Yeah, man, crazy person. Salvador Dalí. Yeah. Yo le quise poner a mi hijo Salvador, pero no, no quiso mi esposa. Le van a decir Chapa. So, it's, it's, no, man, es Salvador. Cuando le preguntan por qué te llamas Salvador, mi papá me nombró por Salvador Dalí. Wow, that sounds cool. <laughs> All right. Okay, so do we understand wood? Yes, I understand. All right, let me see. Let me see. All right, okay. So, uh, who can give me? A, who can ask me a question with wood? Villa, wood. You um, would you like to go to the past? Maybe yes. Maybe I would like to go to the nineteen fifties. This thing that the, um, I don't know. Did, did you see Back to the Future? Mm, yeah. La película Back to the Future cuando la yeah, yeah, su papá. Yeah. I like that that era de que no había mucha guerra ni nada en ese entonces the music was good yeah all Teacher, right yes would you like to change profession oh man it's a good uh, question maybe <laughs> i yeah it's a good question um you know, yeah, maybe yes. I would like to be a mechanic. What about a photographer? Oh yes, but that was that's that's like my personal hobby. Yeah, but oh. photographers in El Salvador don't make money. No, 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 no. Probably in Mexico or Europe. No, and, and the problem Salvador? and the problem with photographers in El Salvador, they're very traditional. Oh. Yeah. And I, I I like I like different photography. I like I like taking pictures of a moment. Okay. And you know, the all the photographers, the majority here by a sonrian. <laughs> you know, like in all the pictures. Mm -hmm. Let and me then, give you an example. Like, have you noticed painters, the people that paint? And it's the painters. Yeah, um, yeah. They always paint a watermelon, an avocado. <laughs> A papaya, it's always the same painting. Or 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 a man walking in a carretera empedrada. So I una le una señora, mire por qué no pinta un trompo, man. Like no, yeah, I mean a, a trompo will remind people of their memory, or like little kids playing trompo. With no shoes, like that would be good. Because when you go to Pueblos Vivos, you see a painting avocado. You go to the next one, a banana. <laughs> you go to the next one, a papaya. Yes, it's, they're all the same. But the paintings are very good. Some people have very good talent. But I think they need a little more imagination. But uh, not all, because uh, in Chel Chapa, it's a painter, uh, Francisco Guerrero. Yeah. No, 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 uh, but I, I'm generalizing. Ah, okay, because okay. Um, look at what, look at, si hay bueno aquí son taggers. Do you know what is a tagger? No. People confuse, people confuse them with mareros and they're not. No, 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 son de los. Uh, they spray music. paint. Uh -huh. ah, ah, grafiteros, grafiteros. Yeah, yeah graffiti artists. Taggers. Taggers? Yeah. Taggers. Yeah, because they tag. They, so they, I'll say, if you notice every painting, 
tiene un nombre. De, o sea, you, you have to put your name. In Mexico, teacher. In Mexico, the Tigers are uh, very um, famous. Yes. No, they in paint, Salvador. They paint. And they, no, but uh, probably uh, I say uh, I visit Mexico uh, 10, 10 or 12 years ago. And in this, in this moment, uh, the Tigers are very famous. I imagine. They pay, yeah. uh, yes, they paint uh, freeways and uh, different. Yes. Okay. Here in El Salvador, I have seen some beautiful art, but they're no los aprecio, no sé. Yes, because la sociedad los considera como vagos. Aún. Ah, so, mm -hmm. But man, sometimes I like, I take pictures of, of the art. It's very nice. By, by, um, by Sertracen. Oh. There's some nice art. Ah, they have a, 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 a lot of imagine. Yeah, talent. Uh, yes. Good. Teacher, I guess that the all art are, are in, infravaloradas in, in the country. Mm, yeah. Yes, it's true. It's true. It's not, it's not appreciated. It's teacher, true. Yes. The archaeology paint is rupestre. Is what? Is rupestre. What is that? Eh, las pinturas en arqueología se llaman rupestre. Oh, okay. Fíjese que esas no he visto muchas. But I imagine they're good. Lo que me gusta algo que resalte, que sea diferente, algo que llame la atención, como wow, that was nice. Because like when you go, when you go to um, pueblo, I, ya le digo a mi esposa, man, cuando vamos a un pueblo que hay ventas, todos venden lo mismo. A mí me gusta la tienda que vende diferente, like oh hey, mira, that's nice. <laughs> ¿Cómo se llama? Ya hay en, en, en la playa, no, ¿dónde es que está el muelle? Hay un señor que pinta en, en concha, en, en, ¿cómo se llama? Caracoles. En caracoles. Caracoles. Pero, oh man, perfect painting. Y lo hace, that's art. O no sé si han visto en Ataco, en Huayua, el que pinta con spray paint. Que le hace un, un paisaje como en un minuto. Y lo termina de hacer con los dedos. It's a perfect painting. That's, that's really nice. All right. So I would, I would, I would like to meet. Yeah. They, yeah. Medium. I, I think I would like to be a photographer. But you know what? I would like to be a photographer for the news. For the news. Would you like to uh, take a photo in a, uh, a scene uh, the crime, crime? How do you say crime? Crime. Crime. Yes, it would be interesting. Oh, no. No, but I wouldn't like to take a photo of a, a dead person. I don't know. Yeah, maybe no. no. Is he a sangre Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Maybe I would like to be a reporter. Maybe. But anyways, this is what? Yes, it's a hypothetical situation or a condition. Yeah. Yes? Which country okay. you travel to? Excuse me? Which country would you like to, to travel? Uh, Tokyo, Japan. I, I think Asia, Asia, because, because everything, everything is different. The letters, I don't understand the letters, the language, I don't understand the language, even the face. So imagine when I go outside the hotel, it's like, I don't understand anything. So that's for, because if I go to like... Yeah, because imagine if I go to Argentina, oh, it's beautiful, but I speak Spanish. I speak Spanish. If I go to England, I speak English. So I, me puedo hallar, pero 
go to Asia, I don't know anything. <laughs> so I don't know if I will come back. I have a friend que toca en un grupo de rock, que era bien famoso aquí, se llamaba Bronco. Eran, y ellos tocaron con el de Café de Cuba cuando vinieron, pero hace como 20 años. Y el cantante de Café de Cuba le dijo, hey, vamos, y se salieron del hotel y tomó un bus. Y se fue a perderse. Se fue con él. Yo. Así que terminaron en la tiendona. A, jugar, a good place, a, a good jugar place. Bingo. Ah, pero él le gusta. Dice, ya, yeah, es igual a México. Wow. Llamó, you went to la tiendona with. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He has pictures and everything. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Teacher, once, yes. once, uh, ¿qué ver? Una vez. One once, time. One time, I got lost in Holland because I, I couldn't speak English. Oh, but that's interesting, no? You're lost. Uh, so yes, you don't know what the, to do. In, like. in the airport. Oh, so what did ah, you do? Yeah. You ah. used a lot of hand. <laughs> me hicieron burla y me sacaron de la Really? Vida. Oh, man. Yes. I never for, uh, forgot it. Uh, But that's why you never forget. It was a very uh -huh. interesting experience. Uh, yes. <laughs> hmm. All right, good. So do, do you understand wood? No questions? All clear. All clear. All right, good. Disculpen una pregunta. O solo es mi pantalla o ustedes ven algo verdecito, como hormigas. No. No, teacher. Tu pantalla. No, cre okay. no creo que es mi Zoom, entonces. Porque. Okay, okay well. Okay, so next, uh, wouldn't is the negative. Noemi, you don't like Bad Bunny? I don't know. So you wouldn't go to Bad Bunny if you have free tickets? Nunca vi esa expresión. Yo ni de gratis fuera iría esa cosa. It says, I wouldn't go even for free. So do I? Yes. No sé cómo decir, pero es que no su música no. No, no, no. I, I, no, totally. I, I comprehend, pero no por y por eso digo esa pregunta que hay gente que dice yo ni no iría a esa cosa ni aunque me pagaran. Yeah, me too. I wouldn't go. <laughs> All right. Entonces sería. Um, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go. No sé. No I wouldn't go is. if you pay me. <laughs> if you pay me. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, next we have have to and must. Have to and must. What is I have to? What is I must? Tener okay. que? Okay, okay. E, I must? Yo debería. Okay. Uh, Miriam, usted tiene una nieta, dijo, de ocho años. Yes. Y si un día le dice, ¿cómo le dice, mamá o abuela? Mamá. Mamá, mamá, ¿qué es la diferencia? Es que yo tengo que ir y yo debo ir. ¿Qué es la diferencia? Uh, uh, tengo en uh, Spanish. Uh -huh. Or English. Okay. No, en español. Ok. Uh, tengo es como, como una obligación, como tengo un deber, que... como un deber, como algo que sí tengo que hacer. Uh -huh. Y si me dice, ¿debería ir? No, no Eso, dije debería, no, no, no. debo ir. Debo es como... Uh, Tengo que, tengo que, debo que, tengo que, ay, es, es como algo <laughs> parecido, <laughs> pero no. Uh, yeah, I'm bad. Tengo que, no, 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 I confuse. 
Yeah, because look, sometimes la, la diferencia es bien mínima, pero a veces es bien grande. I have to, I have to go, y I must go, the two are obligations. Mm -hmm. The only difference es que must es una regla o algo legal. Have to, something personal. Ejemplo. Pagar impuestos. You have to pay taxes or you must pay taxes. You must. Yes. Si fuera have to, ah, ok. Mucha gente Teacher. tendrá la opción, ah, pues no la pago. Uh -huh. Ok, for example, you mustn't to smoke here. Ajá. Uh -huh. Probably. No, it's good. Yeah. Okay. So let's go back. So listen, have to is something personal. Yes. I have to work. Uh, I have to pay my university. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's something personal. Sure. Yes. You the wife say you I'm must sorry? my wife says i must no like for example women must obey their husband yes or no come on women power estaba esperando what you're crazy no <laughs> No, so I mean, have to is something personal. I have to take my son to the kinder every day. I read, I read something about that. And as I remember, how to is like a general obligation and must going to be a specific obligation or something like that. Is that yeah, but that, no, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes the difference is not important, but sometimes it is important. Let me go back. A pagar impuestos. Ustedes son felices pagando impuestos. No. no but AFPs, renta y todo eso. Si uno dice, hey, pero dice, hey, en El Salvador, you must pay taxes. Pero si digo, you have to pay taxes, say, ah, okay, I have to. Hmm. Something personal. O sea, es como, aún me da la opción. It's like, oh, okay, entonces si no quiero, no pago. <laughs> Um, okay, so but if I say I you, must, is I have no option. Yeah, that is uh, no. so. Have to is for a um, obligation, but that is in like uh, optional, right? It's like I said, it's a personal obligation. It's it a personal. On yours, mm -hmm. your decision. Yes. For example, in El Salvador, to drive a car, you must have a license, or you have to have a license. You have must. You must. No, Cesar, you must. Legalmente, um, you must have a license. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people don't. Some but people, people don't. Write it in, no, in yeah, that, that's, you know, it's not, a, <laughs> but you must have a license. Um, For example, uh, you must send parking here. Okay, good. Hoy vamos a, a las reglas. Entonces, ¿Qué es have to and must? What is the difference? In one is personal and another is a rule. It's a rule o legal. Ahora, enfoque, o sea, enfoquémonos en must. Must es algo legal. Por ejemplo, can you give me an example? You must pay taxes. Yeah. You must. You must. Um, You must take um, a COVID test if you feel sick. Mm, yeah. Okay, ya vamos a eso, ya vamos a eso. Okay, good. Pero ahorita algo legal, legal. License. You must have a license. Oh, yeah, okay, Jose, you must take the COVID test para salir del país, right? O entrar. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. It's legalmente, yes. 
Ok, entonces must es legal o regla. ¿Quién pone las reglas? Una autoridad. ¿Qué es autoridad? Algo superior a ustedes. Desde su mamá, mm -hmm. papá. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, you know, a superior. Your father, your mother, your teacher, your doctor, the police, your boss, your husband. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, Ahora, no. un, un superior, wife. <laughs> my wife, un superior si les puede decir you must. Like the doctor, Jose. Your blood, man. Jose, you must stop smoking. You must stop drinking. You must stop drinking. Ahora, ¿por qué aquí es must si no es legal? Pero si es una regla por una autoridad. Hey, teacher. In this case, for example, uh, when the doctor say, uh, you must do exercise. Mm -hmm. But when, when I say I have to do exercise, right? Oh, yeah. I have to, uh, yeah, I have to do exercise. Yes, you, you have to say I have to, but if the doctor tells you you must, it's, it's his authority. Oh, okay. Like, um, in, mm -hmm. like in like your in work. Mm -hmm. Like, uh -huh. okay, like in El Salvador, when you go to a supermarket, I, I regular case, you must use a mask. Yes, Y ahí, nunca, bueno, en inglés nunca van a ver, you have to use a mask. Ahí van a decir, you must use a mask. Es una regla por el lugar, el lugar. Donde ustedes viven, donde ustedes trabajan, donde ustedes estudian, donde ustedes se congregan, hay reglas, right? Teacher, and for example, uh, if I say you have to get the vaccine. You have to what? Uh, you have to, uh, you have to poner, ponerte. You have to take the. Uh -huh. yeah, yes. You have to take the vaccine mm -hmm. of COVID. Is a, uh, is 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 right. Well, it depends on the situation. Depends oh, on the okay. situation because imagine, imagine um, in your company. Uh huh. If if there is a, una regla a, a rule uh -huh. in your company. Uh, like, no, a, I, like a obligation. Yes, uh, una regla. Okay. And uh, Miriam, do you have the three vaccines? No, no, ningú. Oh, oh. Uh, in this company, you must. I have a problem. Uh, yeah, you must. Okay. O sea, no es algo legal, pero es una regla de don, al instituto que usted va a ir. Mm. Por eso es, o sea, must es algo, rega, eh, es algo legal o una regla. Uh -huh. Uh, mm -hmm. The first time uh, Nayib Bukel say uh, uh, the people of El Salvador have to uh, take the vaccine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it, it was not legal. But uh -huh. esto. here's a very good example. Let's go with the vaccine. In El Salvador, you have to take the, the, the vaccine. Pero hay gente que no lo ha tomado. Okay, good. No, no consequence. But if you want to go to the United States and you don't have the, the your, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Partilla. The certificate. Tar the certificate. Vaccine, vaccine certificate. Uh -huh. You can't. Why? Because to enter the United States, you must be vaccinated. Pero es que yo no, okay, good, no te vacunes, it's no problem, but you can't come into the United States. Lo siento, una regla. Miren lo que le pasó a ese pobre Novak, al, al tenista. No sé si se han enterado de ese chambre, pero estuvo bueno. Yes. Yeah. So, so that's the difference, okay? So have to have to, y entonces hoy Miriam, cuando le pregunta a su nieta, ma, mamá, ¿qué es la diferencia de tengo que y debo de? Debo viene de deber, porque es un deber. Lo, es Hay que ley. hacerlo. Ajá, por ley o porque es una regla. Y tengo que es algo personal. Como una Marina, decisión. 
Ajá. Mañana tengo que ir al súper. Tomorrow I, I have to go to the supermarket. ¿Ya? Yes. Ok. Pero ¿qué pasa? Yo no sé si esto es cierto, ¿no? Pero he oído que los papás que pagan, ¿cómo se llama? Procuraduría de... de pero los que no pagan van presos, ¿verdad? Child support. Child, Child support. support. Uh -huh. Child support. Uh -huh. Imagínense, se me vence mañana. Si yo estuviera así, y mañana se me vence porque me dijo la procuraduría, o pagas mañana o pagas mañana. ¿Ustedes qué opinan? Voy a decir, tomorrow I have to pay child support or tomorrow I must pay the child support. You must pay. Uh -huh. I must. Because there is a consequence. If I don't pay, I, I, I get arrested. <laughs> yes. So let me see, Catherine. When you drive, you have to use the seatbelt or you must use the seatbelt? You must. Okay, you must use the seatbelt. Porque es una ley implementada en el país, right? You must. Que hay gente que no lo hace, okay, that's their problem, but you must. All right. Jose Isaías. Yes, teacher. In your house, you have to work or you must work? Uh, I have to work. I have to work. Pero hay situaciones que puedes decir, I must work. <laughs> Porque yes. hay papás que ponen regla, vaya, si vas a vivir en este techo, Tenés que pagar. If you're going to live in my house, you must pay rent. I agree. Uh -huh. So, entonces, ya, ya ahí cambia de have to, I must, because it's like, a, es una regla establecida. Yes. Um, José Carlos Rodríguez. You must pay social security or you have to pay social security. I can't hear you. Okay, good. Get out, get you, so I must, but yes, yeah, it's I must. Alicia, hi. I'm sorry, Alicia. Aida. Aida Lisette. You see what happens when I don't have my glasses? Aida <laughs> Lisette. Hi. Hi. Hi, um, Lisette. In your house, do you have children? Yes, I have. How old are your children? Um, my son, 10, um, 12 years, and my daughter, 10. Okay. What is something they must do in the house? Um, uh, for my son, mm -hmm. uh, my son must to, uh, I don't know, barrer. Okay, very good. He must clean. Clean, uh, clean the house. Okay. And my daughter too. All right, very good, good mother. Good, like here in my house, my son, he must clean his toys. Every day or pow pow. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y ni los limpia ni le doy pow pow. So every night it's like, <laughs> ah, yo lo termino haciendo. <laughs> Pero supuestamente existe esa regla que nunca se cumple. <laughs> Okay, so you understand the difference between I have to and I must? Yes, sir. Yeah, understood. I get All right. it. Entonces, ¿cuál tiene más peso? I must, right? Must. Sus jefes, si les pueden decir, hey, Jose, tomorrow you must be here at five. Sí, jefe, no problem. Mi conocida la vuelta es so no <laughs> What? No, nothing. Tomorrow at five, I will be here. 
okay? You must, um, ¿saben quién usa bastante más? Son recursos humanos cuando contratan a alguien en una empresa porque la empresa da las reglas. Okay, you must be here at, on time. You must use a tie. You must take a drug exam. You must, you must, you must, you must, you must. Pero no cosas legales, obligatorias legales, pero son obligatorias de, de reglas de la institución. Yes. Ahora con algo legal es cuando se lo dice un juez. Ok, you must present every 15 days y afirmar o algo así que creo que you must. Ok, do you understand? Yeah. yeah. All right, people, then thank you very much. Have a very good night and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye.